show about like people who like dress up in like random costumes. Like it could be like animals to like dragons or beasts, I guess. And they date. It was like a dating show. <laughs> I'll start. If you want to? Yeah. Sure. Go for it. All right, hold on. Let me get character. Okay. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to back to the. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Already. Okay. Already messed well, up. Well, in case you didn't see the previous attempt at this, hi, welcome back to no. whatever no. this podcast. Okay. <laughs> ready? Yeah, we're ready. We got to do a hard break of silence. Hey, everybody! Welcome back to the podcast. I have a couple people here with me today. Um, Meg, why don't you start us off? Cool. All right. So, um, yeah, I'm Meg. You guys wanna? Who? Uh, who are we all? I'm Opie. I'm Miles. I'm Jordan. And I'm Kristen. Cool. So, I am a big TV junkie. I don't know about y'all. Like, TV shows are like my jam. If you see my DVR, it is uh, pretty packed. Um, so, what do you guys all Wait, watch? So, you have a DVR? Yes, so I do. So, does that mean you pay for cable? I do pay for cable. I don't have cable. Oh, I okay. Know. All right, all right. So, what are you guys, are you guys watching like Netflix shows, Hulu? What's everyone into? Um, I'm probably more into like Hulu and Netflix shows than like yeah. cable shows. Yeah, same. Yeah, same. I'm definitely more into Netflix shows. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have Hulu at the moment, but um, I find a way. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. There's a will. What is your go-to Netflix show right now? What are you watching? Yeah. Well, I really want to say I have one. And the ones that I have, I either finished in like seconds or they were anime, which is what this topic is not about. No, if you watch anime, what kind of anime you watch? I basically finished off in four seasons of Hunter x Hunter in okay. like a couple of days. Alright. Mm. Hunter x Hunter is really good. Um, that's like one of the only animes that like I really watch. But I love Grey's Anatomy. <gasps> I love it. Yes. I so love her! What's your favorite hate. character? Um, I think my favorite character is still Mer like Meredith is my favorite. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um it's so changed I have, over yeah. the seasons. Um, I'd say earlier seasons, uh, it was Derek and um, I did like Christina. Christina is my fave. My fave until until she left. Yeah. And then she's not there anymore. So I know. I know. Who is your favorite? Um, I don't really know if I have a favorite. Okay. I, I love you. Meredith. Um, for the earlier seasons, yeah, I love Christina. Who am I thinking? Um, I loved Avery in the middle. In the beginning, he was kind of arrogant. Yeah. Yes. But like in the middle of when he, oh, and I love Sloane. Mm. I mm. love Me too. Like Sloane. Love. All right, guys are like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, you know, so there is 17 seasons of lot. this show. Yeah. And I just want to say, like at the beginning, I saw Meredith and I was like, oh, she's pretty. And she looks so young. And you don't realize how old she's getting until you look back at the older seasons and then you're like, mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> and that's good with everyone. Thank you. Right? Look at that. I mean, we all ate. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's, but like, you have in your mind and like, you really see her grow up. Right. From an intern to an attending. That's true. That's true. So, Miles, what do you <laughs> watch? Obviously, you are not a. Uh, Big Grey's Anatomy fan, that's okay. We won't hold it against you. My it. show right now on Netflix is Sexy Beasts. Okay, <laughs> wait, what is what this? Is Sexy Beasts? It's a show about like people who like dress up in like random costumes. Like it could be like animals to like dragons or beasts, I guess. And they date, it was like a dating show. So like- oh, Wait, oh, I saw a preview for yeah. that. I did too. Wait. So like the point is like to um, trying to find people you interest in and with the person without that seeing each other. Yeah. Yes. So, so Are they like full body costumes? Full, full body oh. costumes, and, like, <gasps> like real makeup, not like fake like clown makeup, like real. Mm -hmm. So like the masked singer, but for dating. Yeah. yeah. Oh. 
We should totally <laughs> dress up for a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and like a full we'll costume. Yes. yes, that would be so fun. I like it. So, are they like matching? And then do they like get eliminated? What's the process? So like, there's like there's one like person that's like I guess like a bachelor or something. Mm-hmm. So and there's three contestants. And they all go on separate dates, and then the um, bachelor like picks who they want to go on another date with, and then they pick the person at the end. And at the end, they get to see who who they were dating. Oh, Wait, that's so interesting. I'm about to have to go look it up now. <laughs> right? Yeah. I wonder if you get to pick your costume. I feel like if I were to go on that show and be able to pick my costume, I think I'd pick some kind of like big cat. Like I'd like dress up like a tiger. Oh. Mm. Yeah. We should all say what we would be if we dressed up. Because I feel like, oh, you know, it kind of like, I feel like it goes with my personality because I'm like, I, first of all, I already love animals anyway. The second, I'm an Aries. I don't know if y'all, I'm, I'm a big Aries girl. Got that fiery kind of personality. The little tiger. Arr. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's what, you, what I would be. What would you be, I'd Miles? I would probably be a, be a gator. Oh, yeah, okay. I like gators a lot. All right. Yeah. And, you're, and that's where you are yeah. trying to go, yeah, too, yeah. for yeah. school. Very uh, cool. Just like gators. It's like it's cool because they're like they're like small but they're not small. They right. Just to the ground. Yeah. They're Yo, small. They're scary. <laughs> yeah. They are okay. scary. <laughs> mm-hmm. What would you be, Opie? It depends. I'm leaning towards a bear, I guess, if only because I think it's just a bear necessity. <laughs> I love it. Wait, what, is that for? what kind of bear? We got polar bears. We got black bears. Brown bears. bears. Grizzly. There was a panda bear on the show. Panda bears? Oh, I want to. I mean, no offense to pandas, but I'd probably just pick a brown bear. Okay. Hmm. Because honestly, those are the bears I have much more knowledge with, and mm-hmm. in all honesty, it's just like, I don't know. I just really like the concept of this giant, huge animal, which is what I am, honestly. I think I'm small <laughs> when I'm standing up on my back two feet and much smaller when I just. <laughs> but what about. A teddy bear. Boo. No. A teddy bear. <laughs> no. No. Thanks, no. Small tangent. No. When I was in elementary school, so I used to live in like, on like a really huge, um, like basically like kind of in the woods. It was like a hundred acres of land. So we were like pretty set back into these woods and I, we lived right next door to my grandparents. And so my mom was over my grandparents' house just to like do basically like laundry. Um, And when she came back over to the house, I was like, and I was in like, I think like fifth grade. I was like, mom, there was a bear outside of the window and he was chasing deer. Mom mom was like, there's no bear in New Jersey. Like we good. And I was like, no mom, there was a hundred percent a bear outside the house. And then like a month later, my aunt was driving and she was like, Y'all know there's like a bear outside? And literally the whole family was like, that was a big raccoon, like we don't have bears. And I knew it was a bear. Right. There's definitely a big difference between a lion, a bear, and a raccoon. But they really tried to tell us that we both were lying and that we were conspiring against the family to try and like fake everybody out. And then my grandma, bless her heart. She goes outside one day and it's nighttime and she's taking trash outside to like, you know, like the garbage cans. And she comes back in and looking back, I feel like this is the point when we started to realize my grandma might not uh, have been all there. She's like, y'all know that uh, there's a woman with a fur coat standing across the street. And we all were like, what? First of all, like, no. So everyone just talked about to grandma being old. And literally a week later, some people came to like do uh, work outside and they were like, y'all have a mama bear and two cubs that live behind your house. And all three of us were, well, grandma still thought it was a woman. But <laughs> me and my aunt were like, we told y'all there is a bear outside living at our house. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was a crazy time. I'm still really confused why they were like it was a big raccoon. Right. So my family stayed trying to just think we were wrong. Mm. 
Petty. <laughs> Petty. I still haven't been over that clearly. Fifth grade trauma. We should call mm-hmm. your mom. We should. <laughs> she would have been like, nah, I didn't believe any of them. Whatever. All right, Jordan. Thank you uh, for listening to my bear story. <laughs> what would you like to be? I think I'd be a panda. I think another bear theme. Really cute. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I like. I think pandas are so cute. Me too. Hmm. Personally, is you? I would be. So this is like a full blown costume, right? Yep. You can be anything you want. A unicorn. You just like <laughs> your daughter. Because it's <laughs> my daughter's favorite. And I feel like I can connect with a unicorn in a sense that it's sparkly and magical. And that's how I see myself. Even if I'm not sparkly and magical. <laughs> so yeah. Thanks. That's my I like it. Yeah. I think that's like I wonder who actually like came up with the concept. Like just in TV shows in general, I think about like, I'm a big, um, I watch like Big Brother Mm -hmm. and The Challenge. I don't know if y'all know what those are, but with Big Brother, have any of you guys ever watched it? Or do you know what it's about? Uh, Hold on, if I'm, let me make sure that this is the correct Big Brother. Is Big Brother about a dude who was turned into a bear? So, no. That is a movie oh my called God. Brother Bear. That's a Disney oh. movie. But Big Brother is, you, there's like 16 or 20 people, I don't know how many. There's like 16 people and they like put them in a house together and they like cut them off from like everybody so they don't have like TV or books or radio. It's just like themselves. And they do like different challenges and evict people so that the final person living in the house like wins, wins like, a prize. Yeah, Cash they win like seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's not enough money. It's not enough. <laughs> it but it's crazy to it 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 is a lot. I mean, <laughs> I would be seven hundred fifty thousand dollars richer. I wouldn't be mad about it. So how long does that take? And it's like an experience. Yeah, it takes like two months. And then like what's also crazy is that it's called like Big Brother. You can like watch them at any time because there's cameras everywhere in the house oh, except explains, for the bathroom. Oh, that explains the term Big Brother is watching. Yes, yeah, so that's why they call it that. Mm-hmm. So like you can literally pull up on your phone and open their house and you just watch them at like any time of day so you can see them like conspiring okay. against each other. But it always is crazy to me. That I'm like, who thought of this? Who thought of the concept for this show? Like who thought dating in animal costumes or putting people in a house for two months and seeing who wins. Who thought of these things? I mean, I'm not mad about it. I'm just, I want I changed my hopes and dreams. I think I want to be the person to think about <laughs> what right. you are going to do. For real, to, reference to another podcast. Well, but. You have to admit, a lot of these ideas probably come from, I'd like more of this. Yeah. All of these come from someone's unique perspective and go like, hmm, I wonder what it'd be like if this were happening. Yeah. And actually, I think that's the reason why a lot of shows that were created are because they're like, hmm, I want, and actually a lot of comics, it's like, hmm, I wonder what a blind guy who's a lawyer would look like, or I wonder what a dude who's just powered by the sun and represents hope would look like. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can make a show to be whatever right. you want. So if you have a creative mind and the juices are flowing and you're like, yeah. in your own imagination land, like Narnia, something like that, True. you can make it come to life, life right. <laughs> on a screen. I, yeah. And I then people think, will pay you to watch it. Like, I don't think I have a creative mind and I just watch these things and go like, man, I should try it. And yeah. then I get stumped. <laughs> What is one show that you're like, man, this is like so good, like so like, yeah, creatively made or like mm. really good, like creatively written that you think like everyone should watch? Um, there was like already a podcast on this, but Outer Banks. Oh, I, I have not watched it. I have I watched have it. Recommend it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like just like the idea for it was like really smart and the way that they executed it was super entertaining. 
I would have to agree. And nobody else had seen it except for me. Really? I brought it up. Yeah. It's so Krista, what do you think? What's... Hmm. So, I'm trying to think. There are several shows. I, do you have another? Was that that? Yeah. yeah. Well, was mine Outer Banks? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Jordan oh. was like, Jordan just like, was like, oh. If you know, you should go, because okay. mine is trouble thinking. Yeah. Yeah. This is like an older one, but Family Matters. I mm, love that's that. That's a good show. show. I actually like, never finished the ending, like the beginning season. I think I got to like season five, but um, because I kind of like got bored towards the end, but yeah. I love them. And I love Steve Urkel. Oh, and I yeah. just thought it was like really funny and a really nice sitcom. Yeah. I would say Parenthood. That was mine. Really? Yes. Yeah. I thought that it was very well written and thought mm -hmm. out. And they had so many seasons. And yeah. I finished all of it um, without at all getting bored. Yeah. And so. That was a good show. And it was so sweet. And the family was just so sweet. And yeah, so. I like shows with like a lot of characters. Yeah. If we're talking about old school, I would definitely say Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, Yesterday was actually fun fact was the like their thirty first anniversary of when it started, which is crazy to me. I'm like, dang, that's a long time ago. Um, yeah. But yeah, if my like today's show, hmm, like Parenthood was what I was going to say. So I'm gonna just stick to that. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Or Grey's. Grey's is like well beautiful. done. I yeah. mean, in order to have 17 seasons, you have to be right. And I've thorough. literally like made my friends. I'm gonna like, like, no, y'all have to watch it. Hmm. Can I go? Yeah. What about well, your last? This is this is interesting because I typically watch a lot of animated stuff. So ordinarily, I'd recommend Hunter Hunter. Okay. However, there was another show I had been watching with like my family, and. It was called Star Wars The Clone Wars. Okay. And to best sum it up, it's an expansion of the prequel movies about the previous Star Wars. And to best sum it up, it's probably one of my favorite animated shows for all the writing and the characters. Mm -hmm. Like, all this happens between the different episodes, like before episode three and during it. And we get to see how all the characters grow okay. and plot. And we get to see why Anakin falls into darkness. Mm. Very cool. And if I, I had to pick another show, dang, this one's actually really hard. You just do one. One is good. But I feel like there would have to be some other show I'd really enjoy. Well, yeah. Honestly, it just really, well, actually, recently, I have been watching this one show called Bungo Stray Dogs. Okay. Well, it's an anime, and it's basically like, mess them up, it's the mafia versus detectives, and it's just a really fun show to watch and see all the characters grow and improve. Nice. Alright, Miles, it's your uh, one show. Our one show probably be like a Marvel show on Disney mm. Plus. Okay. Mm. Loki. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah. 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 Yes. It's, like, it's a great story and it just connects everything to the Marvel Universe, all connects together. Yes. I'm really excited that there's going to be another season of it too. Me too. I think he's just such a great, like, I just, yeah. such a great character. And he's like, I love Tom as an actor too. So, yeah. I, I would have to say I like him also. Yeah. yeah. We just watched it for the first time at the beginning of the pandemic. Nice. Not Loki, but like the yeah. Marvel series. Yeah. We watched all of them. Well, cool. Thanks yeah, for probably. sharing your shows. I feel like, you know, I have, like, things to, like, go back and I gotta, like, be like, oh, I gotta watch these things now. But, uh, yeah, thanks for sharing, y'all. Jordan, you wanna, uh, close us out? Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and tune in for more. Bye! Bye. Bye. Cool. Thanks, y'all. <laughs> Cody asked if we could grab two of the girls.